One of the questions I often get asked in my practice is, should I use an ovulation kit? You know, one of those pee on the stick type kits. I have to say, I am not the biggest fan of, ovula of ovulation kits. In fact, I probably would have to say that I hate them. <laughs> and the reason that I do is because they don't help you if you have an irregular cycle, if your cycle varies, if ovulation varies. Um, they are very expensive. Typically, I mean, nowadays they have some digital versions that are cheaper, yet I also don't find them very accurate. So what happens is that different ovulation kits can have different lead times to the LH surge, to ovulation. So for some, it might be a couple of days before, for some it's the day before, for others it's like three days before. So it's very difficult to know unless you are charting your temperatures, your secondary symptoms, as well as your ovulation kit testing to be able to actually predict based on your body and how your body responds prior to ovulation every month, when you should start trying to conceive. I really truly believe that the best way to gauge when you're about to ovulate are, is mucus changes. You know, the cervical mucus changes its texture throughout the month. And when it becomes that very egg white like, very stretchy, that's when you start to become fertile, when you are fertile and your body is about to ovulate. So start to tune in to those cycles throughout the month. And the best way is to write it down on a chart. You know, you might want to use an app. Uh, we like to use fertilityfriend.com. But that is going to be really useful information for you when you're really trying to kind of figure out, okay, when am I actually ovulating? Um, to have a combination of those things um, of those set symptoms and signs for yourself as opposed to just relying on peeing on a stick that might not be accurate at all. You know, you might pee on a stick today and you do that for you know a couple of days but then ovulation happens on the seventh day or there might be a variation of seven days in between and some of these kits they can cost as much as fifty dollars for you know a week of, of testing. So most people, when they're paying $50 for a week of testing, will test for a couple of days and they will often miss ovulation. So that's one of the reasons as to why I don't find that they're very useful. But typically, knowing that nothing trumps knowing your body and knowing your own fertile signs. So start practicing and make sure that you use that and it will really start to transform your ability to predict when ovulation is occurring and will give you the best possible chance of conception any given month. I hope that helps. Bye for now.